Hello everybody and welcome to another data recovery video. This time I am working on a PCB from a Western Digital Black drive. And Western Digital Black is meant to be the better quality products from WD. However, there is a problem with this PCB. PCB number is 2060 8032-004. It's, it's a kind of a rare PCB. You just don't see people buy the better quality hard drive. So let's have a look and find out what's wrong with it. So we have plugged this hard drive in and this PCB is not spinning up this hard drive at all. There is something wrong with this PCB. If you're new to the channel guys, welcome along. I'm a professional data recovery engineer and people mail me in hard drives all around the country for data recovery. So this PCB, if we flip it over and have a bit of a look, we might find something. And to me, when you're looking at these things all day, you can definitely see some obvious problems. And about halfway in the middle of this PCB, you can see a little chip here that's absolutely burnt out and fried. And if we zoom in and have a closer look, you can see this little six pin chip is melted. Now I'm not sure what it is, it does have a part number, but they're usually meaningless. Uh, inside factory codes, they're hard to look up and find. But this one is bulging at the top, it's all burnt out, it looks like it's smoked out. This PCB is damaged and we'll need to repair it to get the data back for the customer. So for a day like today, I'm going to need spare parts. And when you can't really look anything up on this PCB, one, the little part number is burnt anyway. We carry thousands of these spare PCBs. And this one's quite rare, I'll be honest. I don't really see this one that often. And I'll probably have to steal the part from it. So if I put this one in over the top, you can see that's what it's meant to look like. And if I just change the angle of the lighting, it's got AYLAJ with some weird under and uh, over strokes on it, printed on it. So what I'm going to do is steal it from this good working PCB and hopefully we can fix the faulty PCB. One thing I have to take note before I get too carried away is you can see that there's a little circle printed on this PCB. That's going to mark the chip orientation. If you see this little dot, you can just make it out in the camera on that laser etching. That's going to give us our orientation. So as long as I don't forget that, we should be fine. So the burnt one does have a little etching marker to give me the orientation as well. I'm simply going to heat it up, pop it off and swap it. So it has burnt out and it does have some weird, I don't know, plasticky residue. I don't know what that is. If you do know, leave a comment. Kind of looks like gunky glue. Something's melted. Anyway, it could be the top of the PCB. Could be part of this chip, the polycarbonate. So I'll have to pull it out of circuit and then clean it up a bit. There it is there. Let's have a look under, underneath and find out what it's condition it's in. Okay, there it is up close. You can see underneath is completely cracked. So whatever was inside it has probably discharged all this stuff onto the PCB. But yeah, like a little lava flow coming out of it. Now here is our working donor board, which we're going to steal this little chip from. Hot air's up to temperature. Got him. Now we've kept our orientation and we're just going to flux it up. Just want to make sure the tweezers and hold it in position. Just want to tack it first. Oop, no, a little bit. Just 
that's not very good. Kind of want the heat to suck it into place. It's a little bit offset, but there we go. That's a bit better. I think we'll just zoom right in and make sure all those pins are soldered in properly, which they're not. Up the top is a little bit out of whack there. You can see that top right pin. Could be, underneath it could be soldered, but... Uh, you know what, we're here. Let's just give it a bit more flux. Okay, I'll move that into view for you. That looks heaps better. We've got that chip orientated correctly. That lighting sucks for you guys. A bit better for me. So I just have to wait for that to cool down now. It's been heated to almost 400 degrees Celsius. So we can't screw that on yet. That'll burn fingers, that'll burn everything and won't be good for the hard drive. So I'll wait for it to cool down and we'll give it a test run. Hopefully this works. Okay, we've connected it up and instantly good news. It is detecting or we'll run a test to make sure the health of the drive is okay. So usually here, anything obvious, any obvious problems with the hard drive, I'll get red flags poking up all over the place. So it looks like the PCB is the only problem. That's good news. So the hardware test has passed. Everything looks good. Let's see if the software is fine and we can get the data back. And now we have access to all the data again. If you have a Western Digital hard drive with PCB issues, you can mail in from anywhere in the country and I'll get your data back. We'll see you guys in the next video.